Hello, my beautiful Libras. My name is Jennifer from jenniferwalkerzen.com here to bring you your monthly forecast for what is your love interest, the one you're here for, the one you want to know about. What does your love interest secretly want to tell you for uh, March 2020? Guys, don't forget to check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for more information. And of course, if you like a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, let's work on this. We're going to use three different decks, Lenormand slash Tarot. A Lenormand deck for clarifying, and then an Oracle deck to sum it all up at the end. All right. So what does my Libra's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, what does my Libra's love interest secretly want to tell my Libra's for March? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What do they want to tell my Libra's for March? Show me the cards I need to see. Oops. Show me the cards I need to see. What did they want to tell my Libra from March? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, great. What do my Libra's love interest secretly want to tell my Libra from March? What do my Libra's love interest secretly want to tell my Libra from March? What do my Libra's love interest secretly want to tell my Libra from March? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. And one more deck here. This is going to be the one that we do at the end to clarify everything. What does my Libra's love interest secretly want to tell my Libra's for March? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What wanted to pop up? Something about stillness. My goodness, the card that popped out right before I got started was the Hamer energy. And then you get the card stillness. That's interesting. Let's see how this turns out. What does my Libra's love interest secretly want to tell my Libra's for March? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Okay, so there's a patient energy because um, uh, they feel like there's a nurturing energy or there's something to do with a motherly energy here with the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles also is an energy of, okay, I need to figure out what I want to do on a long-term basis, okay? Is this the best bet for me, for children, family, so forth, so on? The Queen of Pentacles is a serious energy. It's an energy of a nurturing energy. So it's a patient energy here with the Queen of Pentacles to figure out what this person wants on a long-term basis. Why is that there? Because of a child, okay? There could be a motherly energy involved with this for some of you that's making this patient energy happen. The child represents a fresh start and a new opportunity or it could be an actual child involved with the situation, okay? With that motherly energy there. And also I see the Jack of Spades, which is the, the um, Knight of Swords. It can be a very cutting, argumentative energy. And one plus three is four. It's about stability and stableness around this situation. Hmm. They are hoping that, or they want to tell you that they want luck to be on their side. They want things to turn in their favor because something was cut away or cut out or they want a decision or they want to make some kind of decision here. They want something completed because I see the 10 energy there and uh, the Jack of Diamonds, which is the Knight of Pentacles. It's saying that they are slow walking things or something is somebody is slow walking things in completing this. Okay, so they're hoping things will turn in their favor and luck will go on, on their side there. And let's see. Page of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Um, they have been exploring things or they want to send you a message of passion or there's something to do with it. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy involved around this opportunity here or success. So let's take a look what Lenormand says here. So interesting. The dog really stands out in this card too with this child here for me. Okay, what do dogs represent? They represent loyalty, the companionship. Um, and this child's very happy. You know, um, and we have even butterflies in this card, which represents a transformation and a change. So they feel like they want a fresh start and a new opportunity. Uh, they want a decision or something cut away or cut out because of there is some kind of opportunity. They feel that there's an opportunity or they can have success here. They've been being patient because of something to do with a motherly energy or because of the fact that they're trying to figure out what they want on a long term basis. They may have gotten advice from somebody around this. And they want luck to be on their side. They want things to turn in their favor. They are willing to explore things here with the Page of Wands and they want to explore things that kind of like put feelers out or flirt with you to see if there's some type of opportunity or success around this. 
Six of Wands, they want to recognize victory or they want to let you know uh, that they want to be right in the situation. And the letter in this card could show that they want to say it in a message or they feel like there's something secret about it. Sixes are about healing and recovery. Yeah, because of the fact there may have been arguments about this. Child, a child and something to do with arguments and disputes or a fresh start and a new opportunity and something to do with arguments and disputes or something to do with hurt and pain, which now this person wants to be right. They want a victory here in the situation through a message or through something official with the letter card energy. Yeah, marriage, long-term commitment, four wands, stability, marriage, long-term commitment, and they want to talk about this. They want a decision or they want something cut away. They want luck to be on their side pertaining to marriage, long-term commitments. And this is their wish and their hope here with the star card energy. So there's been arguments and disputes or something repetitive about something to do with a wish and a hope here, or they're having a, a hope here in the situation because there's been arguments and disputes or there's been some hurt or pain. Sixes show me that they want some type of healing and recovery because of stability and stableness with the four card energy. Eight of Pentacles here shows me that they want to put the work or effort in, or excuse me, Eight of Diamonds, which that's what that card said, Eight of Diamonds, which is Eight of Pentacles. They want to put the work or effort into this. Three plus three is six on this card. 33 is six, healing recovery. Jack of Pentacles, or excuse me, Jack of Diamonds, which is Knight of Pentacles, is they, or slow walking things, or someone slow walking things. All right, Nine of Pentacles shows me uh, they want, Nines obviously w represent a wish fulfillment here. Okay, so Nine of Pentacles can show me that there can be some self-focus here or they feel like someone's being self-focused here with the Nine of Pentacles or they're, they're hoping for someone to be single and available or they're hoping for you to be single and available so they can take advantage of this opportunity here and they can be successful in the situation. Nine of Pentacles also shows somebody who has everything that they need and then we got the cross card, um, possibly because of this, this could be a burden and a challenge pertaining to the situation. So let's come back to this. There's arguments and disputes or hurt or pain because of someone's wish or hope, uh, which is a burden and a challenge in the situation or someone's still having hope, even though there's some challenges around this uh, because someone may need to be single and available or someone's self-focused and they want commitment, long-term commitment, marriage, and they want to be right. They want something official here. Okay, let's keep going. Queen of Cups, you guys are uh, the, another, there was another sign that had Queen of Cups in this position. They are trying to figure out what they want emotionally. Okay, should I give my cup of love? Should I not give my cup of love? Queen of Pentacles is a patient energy, another patient energy. What's gonna be best for me in the long term? I wanna be right about this situation. Cancer Scorpio, Pisces energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. A moon card. Okay, so the moon for uh, Lenormand represents using their intuition or recognizing this is like the six of wands energy actually the moon card for the Lenormand is like the six of wands energy wanting a recognized victory wanting recognition pertaining to emotions here with the queen of cups energy and then you got the eight of cups which represents obviously putting the work or effort into uh, emotions here with the with the heart card being there excuse me eight of hearts eight of hearts Right? And three plus two is something to do with the change or a challenge around the situation. Mm. They feel like there's something confusing. Okay, so let's go back to the top. There is some kind of decision or something that was cut away pertaining to someone's wish and hope, which caused confusion around the situation. Someone was clouded in their judgment. And it felt like someone was clouded in their judgment because somebody ended something or stopped something with the death card energy. Okay, so they're hoping luck was on their side because they want marriage, long-term commitment, and something ended or stopped, which confused them. Uh, they want a change around the situation, and they want you to use their intuition, or they want a recognized situation, recognized victory around the fact of what you want emotionally. So they're being patient. Yeah, King of Cups, they want love here. They do feel like there's love here with the King of Cups energy, love and romance, and that your wise choice when it comes to love, King of Cups. And they feel like it's something to do with family here or a group of people pertaining to the situation. So let's come back to this. So they want to recognize victory, even though they're confused or clouded because of something to do with family or a group of people, or they want to go out with you because the garden cart could also be socializing with you. They feel like there's an opportunity here 
but they feel there's some burdens and challenges because of something to do with this community or something to do with this people group of people here with the with this card and obviously we see there could be a mother involved with it with the queen of pentacles for some of you or there's something to do with a motherly energy involved with this for some of you which is kind of causing some issues here in the situation at the central theme of this the the middle card here is saying there's a wish and a hope for marriage long-term commitment to talk to you about it and want they want things to move in their favor they want uh, this to be official with that letter card or they want to recognize victory here because the nine of pentacles somebody single available or something they feel like they're self-focused here going on or that you have all the things that they need with the nine of pentacles energy you have everything to change things or transform things with a butterfly in the car because we have butterflies here or there as well they're confused about this ending they're they're feeling like there was something confusing about an ending or something that transformed here or they need something to transform about this confusion that they have Okay, let's sum this up with the oracle now. Okay, let's see what you got, guys. Have we already shuffled this? So all you do is jump right in. Transcendence. Transcend your mind's limitations and allow your soul's light to truly shine. Yeah, they want they want to move past this. They want this to be um, on a higher level. They want to transcend this whole situation. And they are been they've been meditating, contemplating about this whole thing. Um, they they are taking the moment to connect to source through quiet reflective meditation. So they are really ready to like move forward and they want this to move to a higher level with transcendence. And they've been doing a lot of reflecting, meditating, contemplating with this situation. And um, yep, the stillness card. Yep, didn't I say that? I mean, we we pulled actually the hangman fell out uh, when I was shuffling earlier, and then the stillness card came out yet again. And saying, reflect on this moment with love, kindness, and compassion. So they're really, they're isolating themselves. Uh, the, and that also could explain that Nine of Pentacles of, that Nine of Pentacles can be somebody who's self-focused. So they're trying to transform things or they want things to transcend. They've been doing a lot of thinking, contemplating, and meditating. And they have been uh, trying to uh, bring things to a more calmer level, a more relaxed state around the situation. And they've really reflected on this. And they are, they're trying to, to do this with love and compassion and kindness around the situation when it comes to you. All right, my Libras, I love you guys so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you look at personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. I love you guys so much and have a great month.